We're back out in Power Field at Mile High for week 10 of the regular season as the Denver Broncos host the Philadelphia Eagles. What's up Broncos country? I'm team reporter Sydney Jones here checking in for another episode of SIDS Vids. The Broncos are looking to get their first season sweep of an NFC division since 2015 and a win today here at home would give them a sweep over the NFC. And they'll be out there looking to do it in style as they're wearing their Color Rush jerseys today. Let's go! Today's game is the Broncos Salute to Service game presented by USAA. So throughout the game today, the Broncos will be honoring active duty service members and veterans. There are more than 200 service members in attendance at today's game from all six branches of the military. Hey Broncos fans, it's Lindsey Vaughn. I'm here at the game. I'm so excited to watch and I'm looking forward to Big W. Outside the Broncos locker room here with Justin Simmons. Justin, obviously not the outcome you guys had hoped for today, but overall, what's your evaluation of the defense's performance today? Yeah, I didn't think uh, we played nearly good enough. Um, you know, I know the week prior, you know, uh, a lot of the guys, you know, got up to the podium or got to talk to the media, you know, we talked about a standard and um, that's the way, you know, anything less than that is unacceptable. And that was really the outcome of today. Uh, no matter how you try and spin it, it was just unacceptable, um, you know, from a defensive standpoint. And um, it starts with your leaders, you know. Uh, we got to find ways to, to close out better, to get off the field a little bit more, maybe even have a few more takeaways to shut up a, uh, set up a sh short field for our offense. And so um, I guess the best way I can sum it up is it, you know, it wasn't the standard, it was unacceptable. Well, despite the defensive performance, you had your 20th career interception. What did that milestone mean to you? Yeah, um, honestly, when it happened, um, like I, I had knew prior, but then like when the pick happened, I, I wasn't even, I didn't even think about it really. Like I just thought like, all right, it's 20 to 13. We just got a big time interception and, um, you know, set our offense up on, you know, midfield somewhat, you know, short field and we'll be able to go tie this thing up and, you know, it's a different ball game. Um, so I didn't really have time to reflect, I guess, like while I was on the field, but um, reflecting now and a little bit afterwards, it's a, uh, it's a tremendous milestone that, I, that I'm thankful for, but um, I think I'd enjoy it a little bit better if we got the win. You guys went one for 11 on third down. Why do you think the Eagles were able to capitalize on third down today? Um, you know, really, it's, it just comes down to like, um, a, you know, an execution thing, you know, just not, not us winning against, you know, the, the guy across from us, you know, in all aspects of the ball, whether it's, you know, the offensive line, you know, um, keeping Teddy free back there, or just the wide receivers, um, you know, winning on the routes. It's just, just really those two things. You guys are five and five now heading into the bye week. How do you want to use this extra time to make adjustments and make changes for the rest of the season? Um, you know, it's going to be huge just to study up, you know, just really, really uh, take a step back, you know, with take advantage of, you know, not having the regular schedule of practice and moving on and just being able to take a step back, assess, you know, the, the issues we need to make as an offense, as a team, and, um, you know, really, really improving on those. 